this. Little bugger does this. This is up there. If you're tuning in to find out how to make real money right now today, I have some links down in the description showing you how to be a scavenger. Got some nice stuff in here before my scooter broke down. I'm going to be down for probably at least a half a week to a week, maybe. Got to wait for my belt to show up. But uh, like that copper pipe and that electric transformer and all those wires and this aluminum. It's all worth some pretty good money. If you can find a lot of it, it's worth a lot of money. Got a damaged tire somewhere. There it is. I got a bad valve on my bike. So I'm gonna have to do that. I don't wanna mess with that right now. The lighting is garbage. So, uh, trying to make a video. If you found this video on the search engines, trying to find ways to make money, um, if you want a, a one-time wonder, if you want a quick hitter, you want to check out like your Goodwill dumpsters, your Salvation Army dumpsters, your thrift store dumpsters for scrap metal. You might have an electrician that is literally throwing away thousands of dollars of copper and, and different metals. Maybe uh, plumbers. Maybe plumber shops. Uh, if you just, I mean, if you just want a one-hit wonder, I would recommend thrift stores number one. But. I mainly do apartment buildings, dumpsters, apartment building dumpsters, tons and tons of stuff, bags of clothes, and just, it's amazing. But anyways, I have those videos, uh, playlists, right down there in the description. Check those playlists out, and it pretty much, pretty much gives you an idea. And there's other channels on YouTube, scrap metal channels, uh, scavenger channels, dumpster diving channels, you want to check them out too. And, uh. I'm gonna go inside and talk about Bitcoin for those of you that like to join me. I know investing is boring. I know you like the the vid vulture action, but I'm simply down. The lighting's garbage, and uh, I'd rather just wait for my belt. So a while back, I started talking about some stocks on the stock market that I saw, and I I, I agree with everyone out there. It is boring, but making money is really not boring. So this channel has always basically been trying to trying to make money so <laughs> about two years ago i found uh, uh i was i was looking because i dumpster dive right the scavenger and I, I just see so much plastic i was looking for a company to maybe invest in that's making that biodegradable plastic because it's a huge problem and uh, i really couldn't find anything but i found clean energy solar and uh, wind uh, hydrogen fuel cells and and i just i found it i knew it i knew it when i saw it and it turns out i was right so like the companies i talked about and well the thing is is i wasn't taken seriously <laughs> and i just simply try to talk about it and so to this day almost two years later there's still people in the comments making fun of me claiming i wanted to be a stockbroker so i guess someone a recovering addict has a channel out there and i guess was broadcasting his private prayers and talking about me and i wouldn't even bring this subject out but it's talking about me so i have the right to talk about it and frankly i think it's kind of disgusting you know he's saying all this weird stuff so i've constantly since then i've had people in my comments section telling me i need a license to invest and I, i'm so sick of it i just really am because <laughs> i don't want to deal with it the problem is is i just wanted to talk about it and the real problem is that group of companies I was talking about is up is a group 1200 percent in less than two years and that is better than any financial person any 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 <laughs> that's almost better than anyone in the world and every single thing I said was just absolutely on spot perfect and if you take out the landfill companies you probably talking you know if you would just take those out because they're just slow slow gainers you know, it, may, it might be over 2,000%. So if someone put $100 in, it'd be $2,000 today. And I just simply wasn't taken seriously. And I know it's a boring subject. And and uh, that clean energy boom, as far as investing, is kind of, it's all kind of overvalued now. So I would avoid it. And I was basically done. 
but this Bitcoin has caught my attention and it could be better than all those other companies I already talked about combined. It could just be the little finger of Bitcoin. So I'm going to go inside. Those of you who would like to join me, let's have a look. Okay, so my channel in my life is not part of someone else's recovery program. I think it's offensive that that has spilled over into my life and my channel. Uh, April 8th, 2019, I started socially responsible investing i still have and they're all turned private i turned it into a cat channel i was just overwhelmed with all this negative not not on this channel but my vid vulture channel you're watching now this is overwhelming negative insulting stuff it made me doubt myself <laughs> so i shut this channel down and i still have people claiming that no one wants to watch this so i put it on my vid vulture channel so people are watching it's, I just don't understand, or I, some people just don't understand how insulting and just how literally how ignorant they are in the comment section. 1,200 views, and I shut this channel down like in June or July. So <laughs> the very first video I published, literally the best start of any channel I've ever started. 1,200 views. That's literally the best channel. The best start I've ever got on any channel. And people keep saying that no one wants to listen to it. And that's not true. I just, I was overwhelmed by doubt. I started doubting myself. And uh, I knew I was right, but I started doubting myself. And it's just, it's, I just find it so offensive that there's still people in my comment section making fun of me because I wanted to be a stockbroker. And I'm just talking about private people investing their own money. That's not what a stockbroker is. And I don't know if some of you out there, and I'm not, <laughs> I totally appreciate my audience. I totally do. But for those of you that are making fun of me for wanting to be a stockbroker, you just sound so ignorant. You just, you sound so ignorant. You, <laughs> I, these companies, like here, here's my three sons. I'm talking about Sunrun, Sunpower, Sunworks. May 8th, 2019. <laughs> Fuel cell, or uh, yeah, fuel cell, and end phase energy, solar edge, sun power, sun run, sun works. May 25th. If, if you're interested, go go look what those companies have done since then. And I just, I just I'm just so I, there's really not words for it, you know. I, my 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 channel and what I do is is not is not any part of someone's drug addiction recovery group. I, I'm just so sick of it. For those of you that are out there, just keep saying that. Stop it. You sound ignorant. So here's Bitcoin. And I get these comments on my channel, people saying they're, they're so worried about me. And just please stop it. I don't know how if you don't understand how stupid you sound. I'm not trying to be insulting. I'm not trying to insult my audience. I'm talking specifically to the people who are under this almost mental illness. That this this I mean. This person was saying this will hurt your family, and drug addicts and alcoholics hurt their family. Never in the history of investing your money has it ever hurt anyone's family. Number one rule, never invest money you can't just throw away. That's what keeps you safe. An ignorant moron puts himself in a position to hurt the family. So I'm so sick of dealing with it. Investing your money is what well-balanced, <laughs> adults do with the money they have this isn't something bad i'm so sick of listening to it i understand it's boring but for those of you that are making those comments you gotta stop you just not, i mean not because it bothers me because you just sound so stupid stop it here's bitcoin we're up here it's basically kind of a four-year cycle it's not exactly repeating but uh, this only goes back to 214 2014 um you really can't see much here anyways but so basically it's, they have this having product this is okay bitcoin i said up here well we're right here um so you see this spike back in 2017 2018 and they have a having there's i'll put some links to the to uh some documentaries down there i simply i simply can't try to explain the whole thing um so i found bitcoin a few months ago 
I was basically done with the investing thing because I didn't see anything out there. And I know it is boring, but this is something that once I learned about it, it's just, I mean, it just it's shocking. I didn't know what Bitcoin was. I had no idea. I was ignorant to it. And it kind of slapped me in the face. And, and uh, it's actually quite fascinating. So anyways, see this huge spike up here? Say it's kind of a four-year cycle. It's 2017, so the halvings here. In 2017, oh, let's get rid of this. Well, it still didn't put the years on there. But anyways, 2020, 2021. So 2021 would be 2017. 2020 would be 2016 so it's a four-year cycle it's not exactly repeating but it's pretty close so okay here's where we're at right here 2021 this is 2020 the year 2020 2021 starts here so this would be 2020 2020 year 21 20 21 starts here on a four-year cycle so this huge spike see this huge giant spike that is this let me, let me zoom in the camera <laughs> see that little booger that is what this is so if it's going to be anything close to repeating on a four-year cycle okay this monster is that little booger now look now look what this says it's gonna do <laughs> it's gonna go up it's gonna scare the death out of people it's gonna go up scare the death out of people and it's gonna go up so this massive huge spike you can compare to the little booger you can't even barely see so i think some people just got interested in what i'm saying and <laughs> That's not like I'm trying to be a, I feel like I'm have to be like a salesman to try to convince people. And, and I should have never been put in that place to begin with. This isn't something that's going to hurt your family. This isn't day trading. This is just investing your money. There's a difference. Don't invest what you can't afford to lose. And that's what keeps you safe. It's easy. It's simple. It's rational. If you can't control yourself, then don't get involved. So I'll show you for full transparency. I've moved up to this site, Kraken. I'm up about 5,000 there or so. I started getting invested in this when it slapped me in the face and I realized what was going on. I started, I started investing at 18. I started investing here is when I made my first video about it. And I just see in the comments section, people making fun of me for being a stockbroker. I never said anything like that. It's, it's offensive. It's ignorant. It was based on moronic blabber. I'm sick of listening to it. It's not part of my life. It's someone else's. I don't want to listen to it. Go away. I love I love my subscribers. I started investing here. So I basically, I couldn't get my money in fast enough because I couldn't find a bank where I could make deposits. So I actually used <laughs> a site that I used to goof around with on the uh, football and they got a little poker site small stake stuff so i actually have used this to put my money in and then from here i turn it into uh bitcoin and from there i put it into here because i couldn't find a bank in time so i was trying to get my money in in a hurry um so I've got I've got my money in now, but I couldn't get it in fast enough. I wanted to get it all, all in right here. But I basically I got it all in from here to like here. So I basically have doubled my money already, and it's almost impossible for this to come back down to this level at any time, ever. You know, barring barring a natural disaster or asteroid strike. So you know, like a electro electromagnetic pulse could shut down our electronics, and you might lose everything. You know, when, when's the last time an electric magnetic pulse hit you? So sun flares and stuff, you know, it could happen. That's that's why you don't invest what you can't lose. Just rule, golden rule of investing. Never, ever, ever put anything in there that you can't 
throw away. That's what that's what keeps you safe. <laughs> I, um, full transparency, this is Robinhood, the site that was called a scam and day trade. They, they don't even allow day trading. It's, they literally do not allow it for small investors on this site, Robinhood. So there's where I'm up all time, 6,016. And here's what I have in, not that I need to prove anything to anyone, but 4,289 is what, I, is what I'm in for. And uh, see, this, see this here? So I learned uh, doubt and inexperience, yada, yada. And then I learned my lessons and this is COVID-19. I became an experienced person uh, even though you can call perfect companies, you can still make mistakes, basically all based on fear. But, uh, well, this one wasn't, but, well, they were, I mean, I don't know, it's a long story, but uh, I learned my lesson here and I was rocking and rolling, man. I, and then COVID-19, and then you can see since COVID-19, I've become a nice, well-experienced person in the subject. Not that I need to prove it to anyone, but these numbers are skewed because I was never down that much. I've I've taken money out of here, so those, all these numbers and percentages are skewed. But it's like if I put a thousand dollars in here right now, it would say I have seven thousand, and then this would read. See how that works? It keeps track of your all time. If I take if I take four thousand out of here, it'd say I'm in for two eighty nine, and then this would read uh, two thousand five. You know, so. It's kind of a neat feature of that site. You can always, you can always keep track and see what you're in for. But, uh, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to make a video where I have to tell people how ignorant they sound, but I'm just so sick of it. I'm just so sick of it. This is what rational, well-balanced adults do with their money if they want to. Stop, stop, stop telling me weird stuff. I'm sick of it. Just go away. For the, <laughs> I'm not talking to my subscribers who I appreciate. I'm talking to you. You know who you are. The one that threatens to go watch other channels. Wow. How many hundreds of times have I literally told people to go watch other channels? I just, I don't know. I don't understand. Just stop it. <laughs> when you make weird comments in the comment section, other people might believe you. I know they believe you because they start saying the same thing and then it spreads. And It's just so stupid. Stop it. I can't stand social media. Yuck. For one, I mean, not social media, but for that reason, it's just gross. These are free shares I've got. People have used my link to sign up with Robinhood, so they will have got a free share. If you're interested, there's a link down there for Robinhood. Well, you will get a free share. It'll probably be worth about 5 or $6. So you have to hold on to these free ones for three days, and then you can sell them. So in a few days, I'm going to sell these, and I'm going to convert them into Bitcoin. I'm also on a thing called Ethereum, but I don't want to confuse the subject. I'm just going to talk about Bitcoin. Bitcoin is like the sea biscuit in a horse race when it comes to cryptocurrencies. Um, uh, let's see here. What else do I want to say? So, like, what a, what a, the difference between a day trader and an investor is a day trader will take these charts like so and they will go like so and there's all these different little patterns and stuff they can do like they'll go like this and they'll go up here there's really not one here that's viable that, that i can see I'm, I'm an amateur at the, at the day trading pattern stuff but i'm not a day trader um so this isn't accurate it needs like three spots to touch but it would look something like that and then they go down here and they, they wait for this to break out one way or the other and break up or break down bitcoin has been kind of ignoring everybody for last week and it's just going it's just going sideways <laughs> which is good in my opinion it's showing that bitcoin is, is stable it's showing stability which i think is just wonderful um so these lines are just garbage. I mean, those weren't accurate to begin with. Some day traders are just really good. And they know exactly what they're doing. But I'm an investor on Kraken. They offer a margin level where you can, it's like kind of like a loan. So right now, this is my money. And they offer a margin 
see, I still have four thousand dollars available to loan that they'll loan me based on my tenth. I think they offer double. Like if I have ten thousand, I'll offer a twenty thousand loan. So I'm, I mean, I got an eleven thousand dollar margin investment down two fifty seven at the moment, but it's this tiny, tiny little fees. Uh, it's not, I mean it's, so that's the difference between day trader like a day trader will go out like a, with a huge a huge leverage a huge margin and they'll do it like on daily like many 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 times and that's how people lose money it's really hard to lose money as an investor um you pretty much have to do it intentionally <laughs> so what else is there but anyways so um what's this what's this is saying this uh, margin loan that i'm on for eleven thousand, i'm down 249 so what that's saying is let's see go back here let's turn on uh well let's see let me show you real quick uh, uh this this kraken site is pretty confusing if you've never done anything like this like right now i don't know why they won't let me turn my trades back on but there's a feature where it shows where I've put in my 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 margin investments. Um, so basically, it's it's almost impossible for Bitcoin to go down to like 32, 30. It's almost impossible for it to go down at 30 because there's these billionaires and corporations and, and institutions that are pumping money into this now. Um, some are saying that this could be. The global reserve financial reserve for the planet one day so <laughs> what's that saying is what bitcoin does one of the things it does is it cuts out the middleman so like you know how you buy something from me or someone else on paypal and paypal takes three percent so bitcoin cuts out the middleman bitcoin cuts out the banks so if you start hearing about uh, banks struggling like central banks failing that's when see so <laughs> There's a lot of things out there that uh, could make this even bigger than this. Um, so it's it's it's, uh, it's quite fascinating subject. So Bitcoin cuts out the middleman, and you basically become your own bank. It's really really not possible for me to explain what Bitcoin is in a short little video like this. I could just say a bunch of stuff and just be totally confusing. If you're interested, watch watch some documentaries on YouTube. There's some really good stuff out there. Um, I guess that's about it. Oh, I was saying, uh, two percent down, which would put me it's at 36 now. So basically, I have my margin in right about here. Or right about here or so so this just ticks up just a tiny itty bitty little bit and I'm even um, I, I just shouldn't have got it in that early but uh, it's, 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 it's it's impossible for this not to go up so I know what I'm doing I don't want I don't want any I don't I'm not trying to convince anyone to go on margin but I just want to try to put out some good information out there I wouldn't recommend using margin until you're experienced and you get familiar with Bitcoin. Um, right now, it's pretty safe for a rookie to jump in there like a moron because <laughs> I know Bitcoin can basically only go up at this perf at this. See the time date on this video down there at this specific moment, but that won't be true here in a little while. People can really get burned, so I wouldn't recommend doing that if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, day trading. If you don't understand how to day trade, you shouldn't even consider it. So, but I'm not a day trader. I'm an investor, and uh, Kraken offers a little, a little loan. Um, so basically, what 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 this is here is when this, any any time this comes up above where I'm invested on that margin, I can sell for a profit, and then I'll take that profit and I'll put it into here i'll sell it for us dollars here 
and then from there it's my money and I'll put it into either Bitcoin or Ethereum. I don't want to confuse people. I just want to talk about Bitcoin. Um, uh, there's, there's tons of other cryptos out there I don't know anything about. I'm never going to touch anything besides Bitcoin and Ethereum. And let's see here. Well, 10 years from now I might when the whole thing is stabilized. But right now I'm not, I don't got the time to mess with it. Um, if you don't know what you're doing, then stay away from stuff. Don't. You know, investing is is a pretty tame creature. Uh, it's really not a whole lot to go wrong, other than you lose the money invested. So don't just that's <laughs> golden rule. Don't violate the golden rule. Nothing can ever go wrong. Don't invest the money that you cannot throw in the garbage. I think in the last video I said skip buying your next pair of shoes. You know, put that 100 or 200 into something, investment like this. So basically, Bitcoin, if it were to become the global financial reserve, I mean, it doesn't even have to be that, but if that were to happen, I mean, you could be talking about a Bitcoin that's worth $15 million, and it's at 36000 right now. So, I mean, even a $100 investment it would be nice <laughs> so i'm like i say i'm not i kind of start feeling like a salesman or trying to convince people or something but th that's all coming from the fact that people are making fun of me and stuff and you know, i wish i could have just i wish i could have just talked about this like a civilized person and not have to look at all this weird stuff and have people making videos about me saying the sec is gonna come and get me for being a stockbroker without a license and just all this weird i don't i didn't say anything like that that, that didn't come from me <laughs> and it actually affected me it affected my life it damaged my channel and you know i could probably sue that person you know first of all prayer wasn't supposed to be broadcast you know you're supposed to do that in public to begin with let alone broadcast it to thousands tens of thousands of people you know the god that person is praying to would be the first one to say shut your mouth in the Bible, if anyone cares to read it. <laughs> okay. Because um, I guess the point is, that's that's somebody that's praying to other men. That's not someone that's praying to a God. That's a hypocrite. That's exactly what it says. So if you want to check it out, check that out too. But that's the damage it can do. You know, someone just showing off. Um... And that's what it is. It's just someone showing off for attention. And it affected my channel and my life. And I'm just sick of listening to people in the comments make fun of me for being a stockbroker. When uh, I was talking about investing money. And it would have been nice if I could have talked about it with people. Because a lot of these companies I'm just looking at over here. A lot of these are the ones I was investing in. And uh, it was huge gainers. And, and it made me doubt myself, you know. Uh, I'm only up 1700 all time, so it could have been, you know, I just, it made me doubt myself and it damaged me and my channel and my pocketbook and so not everyone on YouTube really knows what they're talking about. Be careful out there. I guess that's it enough. I sure hope you enjoyed this. Check out some uh, Bitcoin documentaries. This, what I think is happening right now with this uh, Bitcoin being kind of stabilized, it's not going up, it's not going down, so it's going sideways. It feels to me like it's, it's kind of coiling up like a rat snake, a rattlesnake. It feels, like it's, it feels to me like it's just coiling up and it's going to go boom. So don't be surprised if this time four or five weeks from now, don't be surprised if this is 70,000, if it hasn't doubled, don't be surprised. Like I say, there's billionaires. Check, check it out yourself, Google it yourself, educate yourself. Uh, I'm not saying for anything that anyone do. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not saying for anything, anyone to do anything. I just really, really want you to look at this because if this were to become the global reserve, this wouldn't, this isn't, wouldn't be an investment at that point. That would be if you don't have a hundred dollars into it, something like that. If you don't have a little money, in, you, you could get left out in the cold. If the paper money system go, fails and goes away, which basically is what it's doing right now. Um, so in the United States of America, all you know, over 25% of the money 
that we've printed in the history of our country was last year and they're doing it again this year so just just <laughs> it could it could turn out that the people who aren't in bitcoin are poor and living in poverty okay so learn about bitcoin i just want you to think about it i just i just this i think it's fascinating and you know this is my channel and i will talk about whatever i want so the funny thing is that the people that are making fun of me and just watching my channel for entertainment they're not going to watch this video and so i appreciate y'all supporting this channel and have a look at it don't do don't do anything ignorant if you're not ignorant then ignorant things can't happen like i say huge spike is this little booger that you can't even see so if this little booger does this this is up there it's actually in the ceiling of my well there's an attic up there there's a roof and there's a tree there's some tree branches see those trees this this is up there and those tree branches see those up there so frankly i'm offended by people who don't want me to talk about this just keep it in mind do not do anything stupid can't say it enough i'm not a financial advisor never ever never 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 invest any money that you cannot just drive down the street and throw out your car window and, and just still live your normal life you know number one rule do not violate rule one nothing bad will ever happen it's common sense i sure hope you enjoyed this video and as always thanks for watching too much information for me to possibly cover in one video. Bitcoin documentaries, link down there. Have a look. Some tall trees. It could go down. Maybe, maybe it could go down to zero. You know, I'm not the amazing Kreskin. Who knows tsunamis and earthquakes and who, who knows what could happen. So it could. Just keep in mind, maybe it does go down to zero. You lose, lose everything you missed. That keep, that's, how, that's what keeps you safe. <laughs>